Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd Habatifillah, the question was asked some advice from a, a young brother and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him with ikhlas, with thabat and all of us with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah and nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to come closer to him and forgive us of our many many sins Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen So the question was asked regarding more or less making a type of hijra within the United States to leave off a place where there's a lot of Sufism, Jamaat Tabliq is very big and probably Shia and so forth because the brother was mentioning California and in a particular area in California which I am familiar with or was familiar with from earlier times unfortunately I've lived outside the states so I will do the best I can to give general advice. Being from the West Coast is very different than the East Coast, no doubt. On the East Coast, one thing I will say is there are Salafi communities already established. And the East Coast, even down South, for example, I know uh, a friend of mine, uh, one of the Imams, uh, Rashid Barbie in uh, North Carolina, his community, I think Masjid Tawheed, I think North Carolina, Raleigh or something like this, Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, and there are many communities uh, all over in Philly. I know a lot of the imams there in J New Jersey and so forth. With that being said, as the questioner mentioned about having children, that some of these places in these communities, especially on the East Coast and really all over, uh, have a very different environment and a very difficult environment for children to raise children and I know enough brothers from Jersey and I visited Jersey in those places even Atlanta and some of the other places and that these places have a lot of uh, crime high crime and unfortunately even many Muslims may be involved in some of those activities, some of their youth, and it's very difficult to hold on to your youth wherever you are, even here in Saudi Arabia, but especially in those places where the environment is so enticing, so open, and so uh, so harsh with guns, gangs, and drugs, and also the other ills and people following their desires, and those desires being readily available. So I think it's very important to consider all of those things. To know that regardless of where you go in the West, you will face those difficulties. What I will say about where I'm from in Seattle, Washington, which I probably will be returning back to within the next year, inshallah ta'ala, is we don't have a lot of fitna, which is a good thing. And in general, you could say, although there perhaps is some hezbiya and some other things, you don't encounter a lot of those issues. You can go and there are selfies and you can you can kind of just live your life and be a part of Dawa and, and, and do khair. However the community is not very strong and the communities are basically comprised of immigrants predominantly Somalis in many of the places and they tend to stick together in their own cultural uh, in their own culture. Then we have Cham, which are Cambodian, Cambodian and Champa people, and they also have their own cultural uh, concerns and unfortunately are not really concerned and open with indigenous peoples, if you want to say. So that is one of the issues that we face in those communities is that, in Walila al Hamd, I have a lot of Ta'awan and that they respect me and allow for me to do Dawa and, and travel in many of the communities and be a part of those communities. But with that being said, it is very weak and difficult for reverts and hopefully we can have a hand in changing that in the future. And from what I have heard also in another place called Everett, they just established a Salafi Masjid or Musalla and even invited one of the big students of knowledge that we have in America uh, or even I would say Sheikh uh, Abdurrahman Omey San, Hafidh Allah Ta'ala, one of our brothers who studied 
uh, in uh, and, and got his PhD, I believe, from Jam Islamiyah, and I knew him a little bit from Medina. I would see him in Duruz and and so forth with Ilah and Hamd. So the point being is there are communities, but a lot of the stronger communities come with bigger baggage. They come with, uh, uh, and I think every individual has to make those decisions on their own. So my general advice is if you're able to make hijra, especially if you have a small family, then that would probably be the best, obviously, to if you are able to try to get, as being a young in age, try to get to Saudi Arabia in the universities, Islamic University, Jam Islamia in Medina, or any of the other Umul Qura or any of the other universities there. Egypt is also another option which is more accessible for, accessible for many of us, uh, regardless of age. But generally you will have to pay your own money, but you can learn Arabic, you can learn Quran, you can learn Fiqh, you can learn whatever you need. And there are mashayikh like Sheikh uh, uh, Ruslan, uh, Muhammad Ruslan, and, and I'm sure many others, and students of knowledge, I'm sure there's tons in Egypt, and even mashayikh. So, I would say that those are some of your better options. You could even try Morocco. I don't know exactly the situation there, but I know at least it's a stable place where you could study, and I'm sure you can learn Arabic and so forth. So, I would say in general, a Muslim country is by far the best, especially if you're young and you have nothing prohibiting you from making hijra, or at least if you don't have the intention to make hijra, just to spend time outside of America in one of those countries learning. So that's my general advice, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawfiq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.